Hey, Summit, this is Edward. You know this guy, Jake. Weekly update coming at you right now. From the home office. Home office. This slide's kind of in the way. I can't see you, Jake. So. Oh, that's, that's fine. I hey, Jake, you know what's coming up? Disciple Now. It's going to be this coming weekend, man. Well, uh, hold February on. February 16th through the 18th. Yeah. If you're watching this on Thursday, yeah. then it's a week from Friday. Yeah, so if you're watching this Sunday morning, you're waiting for worship to start, it's coming uh, up. <laughs> it's like Friday. So if you're a host home, if you're a leader or whatever on that, uh, got any questions, reach out to me or David, and we can get your questions answered for that. We'll meet at uh, Hollybrook on Friday afternoon. Schedule's online. You can see that under the youth ministry. Mm -hmm. If you have not registered, it's not too late to register if you have not paid. It's not too late to pay, Jake. Um, so if you need help with scholarships, let us know with our kids 6th grade through 12th grade. It's going to be a great weekend, yeah. life-changing. Had a great <clears throat> night at youth this last week, uh, seeing some momentum growing with our youth ministry and really excited about that. Um, so, and, and, and I'll say this, Jake, we were just talking about Hey, we need we need some more uh, small group leaders yeah. on Wednesday night. Our ninth and tenth grade girls table has exploded, and uh, we're going to have to create new groups in the coming days. So if you're interested, uh, let me know. I'd yeah. love to talk to you. So speaking of new groups, uh, we did regroup last Sunday for small groups, which was really good. Had nineteen new people. Had about thirty people at regroup, but nineteen new people want to get plugged into small groups. Uh, you may still be wanting to get plugged into small groups. Uh, just want to give a shout out. We have a group that meets Sunday after church. Yep. Um, it is a good group. It is a great group. If you are new to Summit and you want to meet some new people and just plug in right away, you can just stay over after church. And so if you're interested in joining a small group, man, reach out. And uh, we'll get you connected with those folks. You know, that, that group that meets on Sunday after church, that's kind of like old school. You know, like you go to mm -hmm. Sunday school and then you go to church. Well, now you just go to church yeah. and you go to small group. Go to small group. Yeah. yeah. And they have a meal. I mean, they'll, they, you know, they do lunch, potluck stuff. Um, it's pretty cool. And then they do sermon base. So whatever Edward preaches that day. Or you. Or me. By the way, great message Sunday. Thank you. It inspired me. What to do what? I went immediately after church. I went to Outback and I ordered me one of those Philemon's medium rare with a mm. with a side of uh, vegetables. Mm. It was so good. Best cut of steak, the Philemon, best cut of steak, in my opinion. So, yeah. So anyway, if you want interested in that, reach out. We'll get you connected. Grief support meets this Sunday right after church if you're grieving. Uh, and they feed lunch too. Let our grief ministers love on you, give you some material um, to help you through the grief process. They meet in person this Sunday after church. That's good. That's good. We also started our new men's group. Yep. Uh, spring semester, the semester of story. Uh, oh, Tuesday morning so from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. That'd be a long day. That would be a long day. Um, six to seven in the morning. That way you can go to work. You can get your kids to school, whatever. I uh, had a great story last weekend. A uh, buddy from Columbus, Texas shared his story. I've got a guy coming, this Tyler, uh, this Tuesday from Tyler mm -hmm. um, from the 1517 Project. Chad Bird is going to be sharing his story. It's going to be a phenomenal morning. I cannot wait. Age is ninth grade. To, all the way. If you're still all the breathing. Way. Yeah, if you can still fog a mirror, ninth grade to fog a mirror, doesn't matter. Uh, guys, get there. Uh, we got plenty of room, got plenty of tables, 50 plus men. Plenty of coffee. Plenty of coffee. Probably too much coffee for me this last week. I but. did have a lot of coffee that Ooh, day. Oh, son. So, Summit, we're glad you're here this morning. Got anything else? Uh, What's your favorite cut of steak? Uh, mine's going to be probably the filet, not the filetman. Um, so, filet? Yeah, that's the correct way to say it. So it's the Book of Filet, Book of Filet Mignon? No, no. You need to read your Bible. Read your Bible. Summit, we are so glad you're here. If you're here on Sunday morning, we're going to start worshiping in five minutes. About five minutes.
if you're watching this on Thursday, invite somebody with you, uh, bring them, send some texts, join me. I send about 60 texts to sa Saturday. Unless I'm preaching. He will, if you don't get a text from him on Saturday, that's not true. That's I not always true. Preach in the next Listen, Sunday. that's not always true. It's only when you threaten to preach in certain ways that I'm not going to expose people. All right. To that. We love you, Summit. Share this on your platforms. Have a great weekend. If you're here Sunday, thanks for being here. Five minutes. Thank you.